Hello all you addicts out there and welcome to beautiful, sunny, sexy, and fishy San Diego. All this week we're going to be coming out with a video of this trip that we're on right now. We came down to San Diego to meet up with a guy that we met fishing down with Steve Chrysler in Southern Oregon here a couple of weeks ago and in perfect addicted form. Ran into some new friends, met some new people, and got invited to come to this incredible place and do some fishing that we have never ever done before. And we're going to be fishing, having fun, and enjoying Southern California in perfect style. Stick around guys, this is going to be an awesome adventure. Thank you so much for being here. Bug traps. So, everybody. Today's first mission, this video's first mission, obviously you saw by the thumbnail, we're going after the biggest lobster in the world. We're doing it exactly like we do back in the Pacific Northwest for Dungeness Crab, so I'm really excited to do this. I hear it's a thrill. We're getting everything loaded up. We're gonna get on the boat. The sun is just setting behind us. It's time to go get some bugs. What a beautiful night, everybody. Just cruising out when everybody else is basically coming back in. Fishermen all over the place. I can't thank you enough for having us down here. Guys, this is the man himself, Captain Matt. Tell the people who you are, man. How, how did this all happen? I think it's great. We got we got we to thank Steve Sizzler for this one. Yeah, so yeah, man. He hooked us up up in Gold Beach. Basically, I told him all about the lobster fishing coming down here and, and checking this out. A lot of people don't know about it. And it's it's a really fun fishery and, and <laughs> you know, the the product, it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, what he are you said biggest do? lobster in the world and I was on my way. So, <laughs> and it's just so nice, it's refreshing to, and it goes to show you how much fun traveling and fishing can be, going down to a place like that with a friend, meeting other friends, and that's what fishing's all about, is, is the community and that friendship you make every time you go somewhere new and look where it ended up this time. Let's go bugging. Munchin! Lobster lunch. That last one felt good. We need another glow stick. Gonna give it a couple more minutes. And then we start yanking like we've never yanked before. <laughs> you got yourself a heck of a yanking crew here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is if you come over here, bud, and I'm gonna pick this thing up and I'm hand you the float and then just back up. Okay. Because I don't want it, what'll happen is I'll throw an elbow and bust your lip or something. Woo! Yeah. So Okay, this one's tight, so I'm gonna hand it to you, the gaff and everything, ready? Yeah. Here we go. Step back in the back. Okay, here we go. Yeah. It's no way no. It's all right. Let's do it with side switches. Woo! My heart's pounding. Heart's pounding. First ring's empty, so now we're gonna leave the rest of them for a while then? No, no. We're we'll gonna go to each one. Yep, yeah. cool. So if they were in there, you'd be able to tell. You can feel them. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Get right to the rope. Okay. Go. Lean over. Nope. Uh oh. All right. Just drop it. Still early. Nope. What's going on here? What's going on here, everybody? My first lobster. I think that's illegal too. So check it What's out. this crab all about? So this is what we're after, everybody. You got, no, no, you, that's, so that's I gotta measure legal. these things. Yep. Wow, that bug! They're little. strong as hell, aren't they? Oh, all right, look yeah. at this cute little guy. So clearly, this is where you measure. He's talking. Right here, clearly, it's gonna be too small. We're gonna release this guy. 
But this one. Talk to you. That's so weird. What's he saying? Well, I don't want to tell you on camera. <laughs> so what you do is you measure from the back of the carapace here to the front of this hook. And see those things? Those are what you don't want to kick. And we have a legal lock. <laughs> Dude. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Little, what do you think? So this one here, that's a male because of these fins, these little fins Okay. Here, these cowl fins. The, the females have big ones and they, that's where they put their eggs in there so they can sit there and air read them and stuff. That is so cool. But that's a, that's a good What start. is this other creature here? That is a uh, stone crab. He looks stone. So cool. Can we throw this one back? Yeah, Get yeah. Get rid of him? All right, we'll see you later, buddy. Thanks for playing. What do you think of that, Tiny? <laughs> <laughs> so, my first lobster ever. What a crazy cool looking little creature. These antennas are, are really blowing me away. And these things don't have any claws. Like all the lobsters, I thought all lobsters had claws. That was just my ignorance. But this is their defense mechanism. They whip these things back and forth. They do the same thing down in the water. They're super powerful. So they'll whip back and forth and smack in, smack whatever predator is coming at them. But what a cool little dude. Let's get back at it. One more thing too, these things is a gnarly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. When they close these guys, they'll try to pop your finger in there and it is just a, a bad little razor blade deal. cage. Yeah. Yikes. Okay. Lesson learned. Thanks, dude. Nope. Crabs. Crabs. Those are cool crabs. looking. What are these little deer? Nori? Ready? Yeah. Some Nori <laughs> for a crab? Yeah, hey, watch out, man. Those things will... They're, they're going to nail me? Yeah. Okay. Just toss toss them back guys. in? Yeah. They'll hurt you. Matter of fact, there's nothing out here that won't hurt you. Ah, it's one of those places. Yeah. The women, the crab. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> I love any kind of crabbing or, or shellfishing like this where you're pulling it up and you have no clue what's in there. I didn't realize there were so many different species of shellfish down here. But so far, we've got three different species. I'm liking it. Hopping in. Here we go. Lady Luck right here. So she had a, a special Japanese beetle fly into her hair today while she was walking down the street, which then Matt here said is extremely good luck. He got really in depth. We were all confused, but then we figured it out. But she had a very special bug fly into her hair. So we're counting on her to be our Lady Luck tonight. Sand dollars, stingray. Oh my god, they're all creepy crawly. Creatures sand galore, sand dollars, stingray. No lobster, but we're on the board. So these are live sand dollars, everybody. Look at these little things. So this is what it looks like before you find it on the beach and stink up your car with it. Yeah. You can almost see. You can see all those little hairs moving around. Weird. It's like an optical illusion almost, but they're it's like they're shining, but they're actually though their little tentacles moving. So cool. I want you guys to comment below with what you think we're pulling up next, because it's anybody's <laughs> guess. <laughs> nope. Oh, well, blue crab. These guys are swimmers. They're like the same ones they get on the East Coast. What's up, buddy? What is that? Oh my god! Oh my god, what a weird looking thing. I've only seen picture, I've only seen these things mounted on the wall. Yeah, exactly. It's like we call them southern king crab as a joke, you know, they kind of have that they look. They are too. so weird looking. Look at that thing. Creepy. Just a little mud animal. Yeah. I bet there's no way you can see that thing on the bottom. No, it looks good. When they tuck in, they look just like a rock. Because all the rocks down there have this exact same growth in them. Wow. What a creepy little creature. Later, bud. Away we go. Away. I'll take care of the kelp. Yeah. Get him, oh, get him, oh, oh. Get him Little guy. Little guy. You thought you could get away? Wrong. Not so fast. Yeah, they put their antennas back. It's their little. <laughs> Ooh, I don't like his attitude. 
So this one's obviously much too small. Yeah, too small. And that's another male. You can tell by the small By the way it is. Yep. <laughs> Aren't they cute though? Cool yeah. little creatures. Horny little devils. Yeah, they are sharp. They are sharp. Cool. Alright, let's put it back out. Yeah. Oh, what? what's that? A rock lobster. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Mr. Dwayne himself. <laughs> wow, what a prize catch. How, do you get those often? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The rock jumps on your boat often. Oh, he's taking them away. Oh, how cute. What is that? That's a rattlesnake fish. That's a sculpin. Let's see if he'll flop out. Yes! Oh, thank goodness. So, next prize catch, yeah. rock lobster and a sculpin. And as you, Matt just called them a, a what'd you rattlesnake. call them? Rattlesnake fish. Because if they sting you, we have sculpin further, well, different kinds of, there's a lot of fish like that in the ocean, but those things have these spines that if they sting you, you got a pretty, yeah. couple pretty gnarly stories. From yeah, they're, they're, they have been, they're, they're a member of the stonefish family. They're bad news. You ready to lean up? Jesus crap, King. Look at the claw on that Look guy. Look at that one. <laughs> Look at the fist on that, dude. He's a fighter. Oh, what's up? You know where the weight room's at? Yeah, what's up? What's up? Yeah, we thought the room. rock was big. Pretty sad, man. Holy crabby. <laughs> Rider. <laughs> Hitchhiker? Rider crab. So we ran that second line of pots. No lobster. So, we're heading for higher ground. We're gonna go find some new territories. Do they sting pretty good? Yeah, oh yeah. They can aim it too, man. Damn it. Hold the shell, buddy. Shrimping's hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, oh, watch that. Oh, that is a horseback. Ooh, yeah. he looks scary. One more for the list, everyone. A hornback. Hi. What do you know? Look at that tail, that thing looks gnarly. It's like a, it's like a sturgeon almost. Away he goes. This is normally little boat stuff right here. But we're gonna get in here and, and we're gonna have to, you drop the hoop, we're gonna have to work together and we're gonna have to like zip tie the extra line because any extra line will go, you know, downwind and we won't be able to get it. We won't be able to get it. Gotcha. So, we'll get we'll to see it in here. So, last night was a bit of a rough one. So we decided to call it. We called it early. We ran about four different strings of pots and only got that one lobster and it got slower and slower as the evening went on. So we said hell with it. It was about 11, 12 o'clock at night. We're back out here again today to continue this video in the lobster hole. What'd you call this place again? The bug machine. The bug machine. <laughs> oh, oh, I like the sound of that. The lightning. When the lightning goes, it is. The, there are lightning bugs too. Yeah. That's what lightning. I heard. <laughs> so guys, there's a gnarly lightning storm tonight, but we're thinking different barometric pressure, a little bit different conditions, the wind's blowing a little bit more, a lot of different things going on out here. Hopefully it makes the bug in a little bit better. Nevertheless, we're out here to give her hell. Let's see what happens. And look, you look underneath the boat right now, you can actually see rocks. And you know what? Lobsters, they like rocks. Rock lobster! <laughs> oh, that was a big lightning strike. Yeah. Good thing we're grounded. Exactly. We're doing it backwards this time, you guys. The float's not going in first. The, the trap is going in first. The ring's going down. And then we're pinching off the line so that there's not too much slack line that we have to pull in. Go, go, go. Thunder roll. 
boat and the lobsters by. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I thought of that. I got the line. Go. Go. There you go. It'll come up. Oh. That's, the That's the hoop. That's, That's the hoop. That's the one. That was like right in the bug machine. Just, oh, boom. That was it hitting the bottom, actually. Oh, that my God, Alex. Did you hear that? This is insane. This just feels fishy as yeah. heck right now. It seems like big tides, big big certain natural phenomena usually make this kind of fishing, any sort of like bottom fish or crustacean like this, really good. So let's all cross our fingers. Comment below. What do you think is about to happen? Tense moment, everybody. We made it through the rain. These things have been soaking a couple hours. It's game time. Buoy number one coming up. A lot of strategy involved here. Need to get this thing up as fast as possible because we're in shallow water. Here we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> party foul. Isn't it? Yeah. Well, like they always say, bugging ain't always easy. But we got what we came for, and we got to interact with a bunch of cool little sea creatures that I've never touched before. So that was really fun to get to see all those different things. Be sure to comment below on what you guys thought of all those weird little bottom dwellers that we caught tonight. But we got the lobster we're looking for. Now it's time to go cook. We're gonna wait for it to get light in the morning. We're gonna make us some lobster tacos. All right, everybody, it's lobster taco time. And this is, I'm doing a little bit of a life Northwest Fishing Secret style with a little mix of addicted style for this lobster. What we did is we shelled that thing out. We humanely killed it, we shelled it out, and then we have these two giant pieces of meat. I cut them in half, but this is what that tail came out to look like. Absolutely glorious. Look at how incredible that meat is. Man, and we were lucky to get one. It was tough fishing. It wasn't the best day out there, but all those little creatures that we caught along the way really made it worth it in my mind. That was pretty cool. I've never been shell fishing like that and had so many varieties of animals coming into the boat. So that was probably my favorite part of today. Second favorite is going to be this right here. So what I have, I got my pan going, I'm doing a little bit of oil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that lobster, which I kind of pre-seasoned just a little bit with some taco seasoning, actually really simple. Just any kind of chipotle or taco or, or Spanish style seasoning rolled it around in it so that that could kind of marinate in it and soak up that flavor. And then we're doing the old school Jordan Special instant mashed potato flakes. I had to, I thought I was trying to think of different ways to do this recipe, but I had to stick with my alma mater and that's the flakies. So these are gonna go right in here. I'm gonna lay those right down into the potatoes. Put the lid on, shake, 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 Sharona. Shake your lobster tail. And I use just a little bit of oil here. I don't want to get too much oil on this. This is going to cook fairly quick, so I want to be prepared. And I got over here, got a little fresh pico de gallo that Matt whipped up for me. My white claw, of course. Better drink that. And then a little bit of slaw. So I just did a normal like cabbage slaw style. Add a little sour cream with a little bit of taco seasoning. I'm doing my life Northwest Fishing Secret taco shell. And then, of course, the avocado. So we'll let this grease get hot, and we'll throw these things in. All right, everybody, it's time. Oh, baby. Look at that, everybody. If you're not drooling right now, you ain't breathing. I know we talked a lot about these spiny lobsters, but these things are the most valuable lobster in the world. Right now, Matt was telling us that these things are going for like $38 a pound right here in California, and God knows how much you know, if you go further east. But, 
feel so fortunate to have caught this meal. It's one of my favorite trips so far in a long time. You guys be commenting below and let us know what you think of these warm water trips. I know I want to go somewhere warm in the winter time. So I, I think we're going to do a little bit more of this, but I want to see your guys' comments down below with some ideas and some places that you want to see us fish. Okay, we're going for the flip. Oh my God. Oh my God. Golden brown on the golden coast. Holy moly. There's going to be more lobster than taco, I'll tell you that much right now. But we're going to do our tortillas now, so I'm just going to take a little handful of cheese for each one, toss that right in the pan, just like so. And my tortilla goes right over it. All right, lobster's coming out. Look at that in the sun, you guys. Again, it's that golden glow of the ocean beach sun. The golden taste of lobster. This is awesome. All right, moment of truth. Oh God. This is going very well, everybody. This is going very well. Look at that. Now for the rest of the ingredients. I'm gonna go with the lobster. the slaw. Little avocado. And then just a little bit of the pico. Woo! Just a little freshness, a little zang with it. And of course, the lovely tapatio. And looky what we have here, everybody. Time to eat. Presentations in A. Look at that meat. The taste is an A plus. That is so unbelievable. It's so much more tender than the, the normal main lobster that I've had before. And it has that nice little flaky crust with those mashed potatoes. I swear that recipe is gonna taste good on every fish in the world. Mmm. Second bite looks even better. The way the coleslaw, that little bit of avocado, that crunchiness of the, of the cabbage, and then that nice fresh tang of that pico de gallo in there to complement it. Man, that's perfect. What an absolutely blessed day. I want to say thanks to Matt again, and thanks to all you addicts for watching this video today. We're having so much fun down here in San Diego, and be on the lookout for the next video coming out in this series. We're going to be down here for six days. We're going to be trying to get as many videos as we can for you guys. We're we'll gonna be doing some crazy stuff that we've never done before, so you're not gonna wanna miss it. If you guys wanna see more awesome traveling and catching cooks just like this one, go up here and click this link in this next video. Go down here, hit subscribe, turn those bells on, give this video a thumbs up, and be sure to comment below, and you can be the comment of the day, just like this person right here. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. You stay fishy, we'll see you out there.